How, how is Morgan? I didn't go into the room. I just listened outside the door. Are you sure he's in there? Yes, I could hear him moving around. Harry and Ben are going to be here shortly. We're going to have to work fast. What do you mean? There's going to be one other person here besides Carrie. Who? Morgan. That's impossible. Morgan is the one who is possessed. He won't sit still and watch himself be exorcised. I know that. We're going to have to bring him here against his will. How? I've got an idea. It's risky, but I think it'll work. Catherine, it's going to take a lot of courage on your part. What do you want me to do? Come on into the study. I'll show both of you. No column's ever lifted a finger to help me. You've got to trust me. You've got to believe that I'm your friend. Then why do you want to help me? We share a common goal. Well, what is that? We both want Constance dead, don't we? I don't know whether or not I should believe you. But if you do, I'll set you free. And if you don't, I'll leave you here in this room. And why do you want to see her dead? We don't have time to go into that now. Constance and I have always been mortal enemies. Now, do we help one another or not? You arranged to get me out of here if... if I agree to kill her. Is that your bargain? That's my bargain. No strings attached? None. Very well. I agree. Good. Shall we drink to our agreement? When can I get out of here? Sometime before tomorrow morning. Good. And I'll expect to you tomorrow morning. <gasps> Great. Julia, go get the servants. Good girl. Come on. There's no reason to be afraid. Morgan's unconscious and he can't hurt anyone. I wonder if the drug wears off before the seance is over. If it does, I promise you that Carrie will be safe. What is it you want me to do? All right, now I've already told you all of the history of the man who has possessed Morgan. I want you to contact the spirit of James Forsyth. Now, if you succeed, hopefully, we'll be able to rid Morgan's possession. All right, I'm ready. You must join hands. And we must maintain contact throughout. And remember, we've got to concentrate, concentrate very deeply. We seek the spirit of a man who once lived in this house and died here. We seek the spirit of James Forsyth. If you can hear us, give us a sign. We are waiting. We are waiting to hear you or see you. 
Can you please speak to us? What is it you want of me? Who are you? I am James Forsyth. Why are you speaking through Morgan Collins? Because I must. Why must you? I am only a spirit without form or substance. But why did you possess Morgan Collins? To be free again and to right all the wrongs that have been done to me. Who wronged you? Tell us, please. He is here now. He has come to get me again. Who is here? Tell us who. Get me to send me back. You will not get me. You will not get me. Carry. Morgan. He's locked us in. Oh, no. I have a key. Catherine, Catherine, you stay here with with, with Ben and Carrie. I'll, I'll go to him. Julian, go upstairs. I'll check outside. All right. She's going to be all right, Ben. I know she is. She'll be fine. You won't be all right till I get her out of this house. Not Morgan. Forsyth. Brutus is here. The spirit of, of Brutus Collins? He will send me back to the tomb. Time is running out. I feel weaker every moment. The possession is, is ending. Oh. Yes, you must listen to me. While there is still time. You must hear the what? truth. What is the truth? The truth about what? The curse. What really happened in 1680? Yes. Yes, you must tell me. Tell me you must. He's here. Brutus is here. Hear me, Brutus! It is too late for you to stop me. I am going to tell the truth at last. The truth about what really happened in 1680. Your family will finally know about the curse! He will not stop me. It is too late. Please, please tell me how it all began. I first met Brutus Collins in the year 1677. His sister Constance introduced us. He seemed an amiable man and an honest one. We liked each other at once and we soon became business partners. But in three short years, I was to learn there were many sides to this man, Brutus Collins. He was a man of many dark and terrifying secrets. He spent almost all of his time alone, going over his books. He trusted no one, not even his own wife and children. Who is it? Constance. Come in. I told you I didn't want to be disturbed, sister. Yes, I know, but James Forsyth is here. He wants to see you. Very well. Give me a moment and then show him in. James, my boy, what a pleasant surprise. We can dispense with the uh, 
parental greeting and the jolly welcome. I am here to discuss our partnership. Oh, come, come, you know, I never discuss business at night. Oh, Brutus, I think you even discuss your business in your sleep, assuming that you do sleep. Well, what a curious thing to say. It isn't really at all. Knowing about your strange preoccupation with the occult, nothing would surprise me. I can imagine you using some strange powders and potions and doing strange chants to do anything you want. Oh, I'm really not so dedicated to the occult as you would seem to imagine I'm merely a dabbler. But what do you want to speak about the partnership? Well, that it has become a little bit too one-sided. You seem to be getting richer and I'm getting poor. Well, we both make the same money, James. How you spend yours is your concern, not mine. But you see, Brutus, I'm of the opinion that you are spending mine. And I do not like that. Take care. You do not make a statement you may live to regret. If I'm wrong, then you won't mind if I audit the books. The books are in the company office. They're always at your disposal. I am not talking about those books. I'm talking about the books that tell the real story. The ones only you see. There are no such books. You're a liar. I think it's time that we dissolve this partnership. We will summon our attorneys in the morning. I want what is coming to me. Have no fear, James. You will get what is coming to you in due time. Good night. Good evening, Mr. Forsyth. Good evening, Mrs. Collins. Mr. Forsyth is leaving us, my dear. He is leaving this house and he is leaving the Collins Forsyth Trading Company. I didn't know you were in here. If you did, you wouldn't have come in. Is that it? No, no, of course not. How did you become such an abominable liar, my dear wife? You enjoy being mean, Brutus. I don't know why you are so cruel, but... But what? Nothing. I expect you'll be sorry to see Forsyth leave the company. Why should I be sorry? I think we both know the answer to that, don't we? I don't know what you're talking about. Please excuse me. Where are you going? Out. For some air. Follow her. See where she goes and what she does. Come here, my darling. It's too dangerous. James, I couldn't wait. I had to come and see you and find out why you came to Collingwood. What happened between you and Brutus? We had a confrontation at last. I accused him of cheating. I know that he's embezzling funds and he's trying to get me out of the partnership. But I don't know how to prove it. There's only one way. It's to go to the secret records room and find the books he keeps himself. Amanda, we've gone through this already. If I could do, I could, if I could only exactly do that. If I knew where the records room was. But Brutus is the only one who knows that. I know. You what? I found out today, quite by accident. Well, tell me, tell me, where is it? Just off his bedroom. At the head of the bed, there's a large drape. Behind the drape, there's a door. The door leads to that secret room. Oh. <laughs> oh. I know I can prove now. I'll go there tonight. James, you must be very careful. Only a Brutus. If anyone in his family sees me going there, they will want me to go on and show him up as the cheater he really please, is. Please, don't be overconfident. Brutus has instincts that are uncanny. He always seems to sense when there is danger near. Don't worry, my darling. I have a very good reason to succeed. I love you. And I'm going to take you away from Brutus. This terrible life he's forced you to live. I love you, James. I will pray for you tonight. I'll 
meet you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. We'll go to the village together. Where did my dear wife go? Amanda is at the cottage with Mr. Forsythe. <laughs> the lovers twisting, how touching it is. Well, there wasn't anything very touching about what I heard. And what was that? Oh, they're plotting against you, Brutus. They're planning to destroy you. Tell me more, dear sister. Tell me more. 